what message does the administration send to the world when we see the White House is barricaded, uh, barricaded in, in anticipation of uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu's visit here? Uh, considering that the ICC found a reasonable ground to indict him as a war criminal and 70% of Israelis want him to step down. So look, I can't speak to uh, Israelis. That's, that's, you know, I'm not going to speak to domestic politics. I think we've been very clear on our feelings about ICC and their recommendation, something that we do not agree on. We've been very clear about that. Look, when it comes to what we're seeing outside, um, as you said, uh, the, the barricades and such, that's something for Secret Service to speak to. They can speak to why they feel that it's needed. Uh, that is not for me to speak to. But it doesn't change the fact that we believe in uh, the right for all Americans to peacefully protest. That is something that we've always been very clear about. It is the right of all Americans to peacefully protest. And we understand that this is an incredibly painful moment for many communities. And we respect that. And also, in that same vein, we're going to strongly condemn any type of violence uh, or uh, destruction of property. That is something that we've been very clear about as well. Uh, but peacefully protest, that's something that we support. I can't speak to, there's reasons why the Secret Service uh, is deciding to do that. That is for them, for them to speak to directly.